so let's uh, get going with the first directive. We're going to focus on the image, on the file upload directive, which is the ng file upload uh, directive we have right here that I showed you in the last lessons. Um, it's this guy right here. So how do we actually add that and how do we make it functional so that I can click something and then click a file and it'll actually upload the file from my uh, hard drive. So that's the first step. And how do we do that? Well, the first thing to know is that if we go into the code, I'm looking right now in this area right here, which is called client app account and under the settings uh, folder right here. That's, that's the HTML file I'm looking at called settings HTML. So in that file, we have um, a card here. And if you, if you forgot how to use a card or you never used it, there's a really good demo under Angular Material, so just go and have a look at it, how you use a card. But this is how I set up a card. First, I tell that I need an MD card. That makes sense. I'm telling it, giving it a title here, and the title is just profile, so that's what you're seeing on the page here, saying profile. Okay. Then I'm adding in an MD card content. That's pretty much the belly of the beast, so it's from this area right here and all the way down to the end of the card. That's the content. And the first thing I'm adding here is actually an ng file upload using that directive. And how do we do that? Well, there's a bit of things here that is pretty much just, should I show it, should I hide it? And in my case, I'm saying, if there's an original image uploaded, if that's not the case, then you should show it. And the user don't already have a photo on him, if you remember, I showed you that I wanted to store in the database on the user an actual photo. If that's not available, then it means the user haven't selected a photo or shown a photo yet at all. Okay. And if we're not loading, if we're not getting a new image from the backend right now, then show this Dropbox. I added a few classes to it, and they can be found under um, App CSS. I have these classes right here. One of them is there it is, the image drop container. That is one of the classes that I'm using here. I also use the Dropbox for the upload and the drag over. So if you drag it over, it'll get a blue border instead. It's not pretty, but it's functional. So those are the CSS files that I'm using in the app CSS. And, I'm, and I placed it in app CSS instead of the settings CSS because I want to use it across because I'm going to have more upload later. Okay, back to the HTML. So that's the classes that I'm using. And then all of these guys that we have from here to here are things that I need to specify from line 13 to 19. I need to specify those to use the file upload directive that, I've, that I'm using right here. Okay, so let me just jump to this one. When I'm changing the file that's selected right now, it calls a function. And that function is, of course, reading the file from the system. I'm saying I want to allow drop, I'm saying I want to allow select. A lot of these features you can actually go and read about on his page. So I don't want to go too much into details on them. The ng model will be files, that means that I'm going to store the selected file inside the ng model. And I'm not allowed to use multiple in my case, and I'm not allowed to uh, use a directive in my case. So all of that is set up. The last thing is I don't want to accept anything but images. Of course, if you guys are going to build a file storage using this directive, you would have to also allow other types of files. But that's not for this lesson right here. And then I'm putting in a text. You can drop image or click on the image to upload the file. Actually, I think I hide, I, I've hidden that right now. But that should have shown up right here. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just refresh the page just to see if I actually placed it. Yeah, drop image or upload right here. That's shown in there. So that's how you make this one. And that's just, of course, just a shell of it, just showing it. Next lesson, we'll try and, I'll try and show you the controller of all the different uh, properties we use to actually make it work.